short version started with a dog park bar. And we were in the process of trying to figure out a dog park. Kara Bundren was visiting Texas, came back from seeing a bunch of friends she went to college with and said, we need to put a, do a bar with the dog park. There was a dog park called Mutt's that served alcohol and was a restaurant and you could bring your dog and, and your dogs could play and you can sit and hang out with your friends. And I thought it was a great concept. And I came back to, uh, to Oklahoma and talked to Richard about it and was like, this would be something really great to bring to Oklahoma City. Next thing we know, we're having this conversation with our architect, Wade Scaramucci, and he said, you know, you ought to adopt the OKC project from Matt Brown He's going to build a more permanent building on his property. One thing led to another, and Matt was gracious enough to let us adopt his project. This project was uh, really set around creating four different tenancies, so a bar, restaurant, flexible kind of meeting space, and then two office tenancies. And so the boxes are very much aligned to work with those uses. This has been a long time coming, design-wise, engineering, and with um, just the construction. We've had these in a yard being modified and prepared for about two months now and uh, everything so far seems like it's coming out pretty well. And then we went and found our uh, fantastic operator as the anchor, no pun intended, uh, for Anchor Down, uh, Joey, Cody and John from The Mule. You know, with, with a development like this, you just kind of say yes. You know, you, you, you don't deny shipping containers downtown. It's just, it's way too cool to do it. So we just kind of, he had approached us with a food truck kitchen idea. He said, we want, we'd like a food truck kitchen, so a smaller kitchen, you know, and, and also kind of a bar, tavern style. And we said, okay, we can do it. And we had this idea for a corn dog food truck that we were going to kind of play with. And so we thought, well, what better way to just try that out here? So we're going corn dogs. I think the most interesting thing about shipping container projects is that when they're done right, you can actually pick them up and move them to different sites. So it's a way of taking an underused site, adding some value, then moving them on to the next underused site. This really is like a jigsaw puzzle with them having parts cut out that mate with other parts of the container next door. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to get them to line up properly, but so far everything's you know, working out to where it, it's within a quarter inch to an eighth inch tolerance. So the menu, the menu food-wise is going to be very small. However, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep the food late nights. So we are going to keep standard bar hours. Probably be open till 2 a.m. Uh, five days a week to start out. When the Maywood development was done, it was one of the earliest TIF properties uh, or projects in Oklahoma City, and the idea was to build lots of public infrastructure. So this park got put in place, sort of as a gestural connection to Bricktown. There was never an Oklahoma Avenue here, and the road actually never went through historically. So this park got built, but it really just had an empty parking lot on the east side, it had another sort of bare lot on the west, and then another parking lot as well beyond that. And so no one really ever came down here. It was unprotected, a lot of sun, a lot of wind sweeping through here. And we really never saw anybody come down and use it much for anything except to take their dog out to, you know, let it do its thing. Thus the idea for the dog park. So with the Aloft Hotel being completed, uh, that begins to give us a really nice context on the east side. And then this property really was designed thinking about protecting the visitors to the park uh, from the wind and, and the sun, providing a bit of shade, but really to provide a gathering place I've begun to think of OKC as kind of like a playground for 25 to 35 year olds. And it's also a giant sculpture project. Richard, he's all about bringing pro progressive things to Oklahoma City and also he's a lot about community building. And this whole area is a project that's about building a community for Deep Deuce and for all the residents that are living down here. And I'm actually one of the residents that live down here and I also have a dog. So I'm really excited about it.